So the 2020 NBA season is officially over, and the Los Angeles Lakers are this year's NBA champions. First and foremost, we have to give a lot of credit to Adam Silver and the NBA for allowing the NBA bubble to continue the 2020 season to actually have an NBA champion when we didn't even know if that was a possibility a few months ago. Now we know that the Lakers are this year's NBA champions, and let's talk about it. Before I go on any further, I'd really, really appreciate if you guys could drop a like to show your support. It just helps get the video shared around and helps my channel out. If we could aim for 500 likes, that would be amazing. Obviously, subscribe if you're new for NBA content every single week. And we're going to have a few videos coming out this week and next week talking about what's next for the Heat, what's next for the Lakers, a few other videos related to this NBA final series, and that's going to be exciting, so get ready for that. Another thing I want to mention before I talk about the Lakers and their NBA championship, I have to give credit to the Miami Heat. As a Heat fan, I'm ecstatic about the way we played this season. Obviously, losing in the NBA Finals wasn't the result that I was hoping for, but to be honest, I didn't think we'd make it this far, and I'm really proud of the Miami Heat actually making it this far. Jimmy Butler showed that he's a superstar, and we have a bright future with Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, so it's looking really promising for the future, with an opportunity to get better either via trade or free agency, and that's a scary sign. We were two wins away from an NBA championship, with a max spot, it's gonna be an exciting future. So any Miami Heat fans out there, I think the future looks bright. But in this game, it was just the Los Angeles Lakers that completely blew out the Miami Heat. From start to finish, the Lakers looked like an NBA championship team, and that's the way it was. And they had such a big lead at the half that everybody knew this game was over. So here are my thoughts on the 2020 NBA championship and why I'm actually happy the Los Angeles Lakers won. If any other team was going to win the NBA championship in 2020 outside of Miami, I'm glad it was the Los Angeles Lakers and here's why. So the quest for the 2020 NBA championship is officially over. The Los Angeles Lakers are this year's NBA champions. LeBron James gets his fourth NBA ring. Dwight Howard is an NBA champion. And for those that didn't have him in Hall of Fame discussions, there is no doubt now that he is a Hall of Famer. A three-time Defensive Player of the Year, an eight-time All-Star, there is no question this man is now a Hall of Famer for sure. I already had him in my Hall of Fame, but people really started to question Dwight Howard after his stint in Houston. He went to Atlanta, Charlotte, Washington, and people said he was washed. Now, he's an NBA champion for the Los Angeles Lakers, where fans once scrutinized him in 2012. And if a time traveler came back to you in 2012 and said that Dwight Howard would be a Lakers NBA champion without Kobe Bryant and winning it with LeBron James, you would have called them crazy, but that's how the NBA works and Dwight Howard's career accomplishments are ticked off with an NBA championship. Anthony Davis is now not just one of the greatest power forwards of this generation, but he's also an NBA champion to kickstart his career into being one of the greatest big men in league history. There is no question that Anthony Davis has the talent. It's all about how many championships he can bring to Los Angeles, and that's the big question. Going into the future, LeBron James will eventually decline, as great as he is now, even at 36, which is crazy. You have to imagine that he'll take some time off, he'll rest up during the regular season as he has been, and this time it's Anthony Davis that will become the Lakers star player. LeBron James won the finals MVP, but Anthony Davis's future looks bright in Los Angeles, and he has the capabilities to be one of the greatest big men of all time, depending on how many championships he can bring Los Angeles. And just like Dwight Howard, another veteran player for this Lakers team is Rajan Rondo. Once again, another player that Lakers fans could have never expected he'd be an NBA champion in a Lakers uniform going back to 2008. I mean, you look at his battles with Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers, and of course, even the Miami Heat when LeBron James played in Miami. Now you look at Rondo with LeBron James and in a Lakers uniform, sometimes things don't add up. But at the end of the day, he's an NBA champion for the Celtics and the Lakers, and that's the history of Rajan Rondo. A savvy veteran with IQ as great as anybody in the league, who's been criminally underrated for the last few seasons as he hasn't been on championship level teams. But he's shown the Lakers franchise that he's still capable of being a very smart veteran player, and he's an NBA champion once again. Can we also talk about Danny Green being a back-to-back -back NBA champion? Look, Lakers fans are probably pretty pissed with Danny Green and the way he played this season and during the playoffs, but at the end of the day, he is an NBA champion and he's a back-to-back -back NBA champion. A three-time champion for Danny Green? Crazy. But there are a lot of storylines within this Los Angeles Lakers team. 
Obviously, in a year where Kobe Bryant passed away, it was the year they won their NBA championship for the first time in a decade since Kobe last won it in a Lakers uniform. And look, I am a Miami Heat fan, but if there was any other team I wanted to win the NBA championship this year, it was the Lakers. Kobe Bryant looking down, seeing the Lakers win an NBA championship, you know it would bring a smile to his face. Also, my brother is a Lakers fan, so I'm happy for him. LeBron James is closer to that quest of being the greatest of all time in my opinion. I don't think he's there yet, but he's one step closer and four rings, six rings to MJ, it's getting close. I've been a huge advocate for Dwight Howard and his play all year long and you can see multiple videos on my channel supporting Dwight Howard even before he was a Los Angeles Lakers player. With that said, what a year it has been for the Miami Heat. Nobody expected this underdog team to make the NBA championship and actually push the Lakers. This wasn't a sweep, it didn't even go to five games. This was a six game series with Goran Dragic being injured in game one, Bam obviously not being 100% healthy and Jimmy Butler looking like a superstar for the Miami Heat. He put it all on the line and he gained a lot of credit for what he was able to produce on the court. He looked like a superstar the way the Miami Heat envisioned him to be on this team. Obviously in Chicago towards the end people were just giving up on Jimmy saying that they needed to get rid of him. Then once he left Chicago he went to Minnesota. We know what happened there with Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns and of course Jimmy Butler not meshing well together. Then in Philadelphia he wasn't seen as that superstar player to lead the Sixers to a championship. He was simply seen as a starting small forward alongside Ben Simmons, JJ Redick, Tobias Harris and Joel Embiid. Maybe had they had him as that star player on the team and they actually played around Jimmy, maybe they would be in the position of the Miami Heat. Now he is that superstar player and we can all see that. He is a guy that can lead a team, but what's scary is the Miami Heat have a bright future ahead of them. Bam Adebayo is someone that you can build around, a young, talented center that has a lot to work on, which is scary. Tyler Hero is able to take shots that many players in the league are not able to hit, and he's only 20 years old. Duncan Robinson's improved so much, he's one of the greatest three-point shooters the league has, and this Miami Heat team and its core is not going anywhere. Pat Riley has built this team only two wins away from an NBA championship, and they have the ability for a max player this year as well or next year. They're in the position to get a star player to help go along with this team and that's a scary sign. But enough of the Miami Heat, I'll make a separate video for what's next for the Miami Heat. This video is about the Lakers and their NBA championship. It means so much for LeBron James who really could have had his legacy destroyed if the Lakers were not able to win this series. I mean, could you imagine three games to one, LeBron James doesn't capture his fourth NBA championship and instead is three and seven in the NBA finals? That would have looked really bad on his resume, but he is an NBA champion for the Los Angeles Lakers and only two away from Michael Jordan, which there are so many debates on whether Jordan's better, LeBron's better, but at the end of the day, you can see the LeBron James greatness. He was was just unstoppable these NBA Finals, 40 points in game 5 and he's doing all this at 36 years old. What a story. So Lakers fans, how excited and happy are you right now? And what are you thinking about for the future of this team? Can they continue this? So if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please help me out by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new for NBA content every single week and hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. It's been your boy Smith. I'll catch you in my next one. I am out. Peace.